what I call indigenous science is more than what they intuited by looking inward to, through their dreams and intuitions and so forth, but also what they have studied in the outside world. And I've had indigenous friends say, you know, your Western science works on the outside material world, and your Eastern science is working on the inside, the mind and the discipline of the mind and so forth. But we indigenous people can give you the third leg of the stool so that you can have it stand up solidly because we work with the inside and the outside. We see them the way you see light and dark or night and day or anything. They're just the two faces of reality. And so they work both with the inside to the point where in many indigenous cultures they could commune without communicating in great detail they could do direct mind-to-mind transmission and had a spoken language for when that was needed. They knew the eternal now and they knew the linear time. They studied, oh, your average Amazon kid probably can identify 300 species of bees by body shape, by behavior, by what it might be good for medicinally and so forth. Very scientific evidence gathered over time. They have a botany, they have an astronomy, they've watched the stars for thousands of years. They know the patterns, they know the sequences. They have medicine, they have physics, they have biology, they have agronomy. Half the food eaten in the world today was developed by the indigenous people of the Andes. All of the corn, all of the amaranth grains, all of the potatoes, all of the tomatoes, eggplants, veggie, uh, things of that kind, you know, huge scientific contributions. A very scientific agriculture in which fields were designated in the sacred valley of Peru, for instance, at all the altitudes trying out the different seeds so that they would know what grew in which climate best and could export those to that part of the Inca Empire where they would grow best. Very sophisticated sciences. We're not talking about just stumbling on facts because they were around for so long, but looking for information and systematically testing their hypotheses about uh, whatever it was and coming to conclusions that were, worked very well and kept those cultures alive for much longer than any of our contemporary cultures are lasting. We seem to be moving into a, a speed up here. <laughs>